Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome to Can't Wait Wednesdays here on the KB Radio Network. I am your host, Kevin Reed, and boy, what is coming out this weekend? What film should I bring to all of my loyal listeners' attention to get them amped up, fired up, and ready to go out to the theater, grab their bucket of popcorn and their large coke and some twizzlers sit down in the seats to watch nothing (laughs) absolutely nothing and it's fine it's cool it's cool because i want to go over why i want to go over why we don't have anything because at one point there was something scheduled but it was postponed and i just want to take this show Not to showcase what is coming out this weekend, but to showcase all the delays, all that has been pushed back, um, moved or moved away uh, on our uh, most anticipated films list of this year show. Uh, I stated that some of these dates are subject to change and boy, did they change, man? We got some, (laughs) I mean, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expect expecting this high level of change. But here we go. Well, let's let's what let, let's start off. Let's start off with the movie that was scheduled to come out this Friday, January the 28th. There was a film that was come that was going to come out this Friday that I had scheduled to talk about for today's show. And just out of the blue, it got pushed. It just got pushed. And the reason for the push was, of course, quote, COVID-19. But this decision was made a couple of months ago. I don't know what went into the decision making to it. I understand numbers are kind of elevating. But, man, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, man, to be honest with you, I don't think the I don't think the COVID numbers uh uh, rising would affect this movie either way to be completely honest with you the movie is morbius and um i i don't think it would have mattered <laughs> I, I honestly i don't think this movie is going to be all that good even though i am intrigued by it i do want to check it out of course it's a marvel film not the mcu uh but it is a part of sony's uh little sp- Spider verse, I guess you can say. Um, uh, 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 Morbius. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, didn't read the comics. Morbius, the living vampire, is a uh, vampire, <laughs> and um, he's a quasi villain. Um, he is deeply associated with Spider Man, along with Blade. So, um, I was, I was very interested to see how this go the trailers were kind of meh but i was i was interested in it you know jared leto uh who we all academy award winning actor uh even though my children constantly tell me that don't mean nothing and (laughs) when i put that title on certain actors uh but he more commonly known as his portrayal as Joker in Suicide Squad, who a lot of people butcher, but I personally don't. Um, he's taking on the role of Morbius here, and I I was excited for it uh, for the simple fact I wanted to see what they were going to do with it, how they're going to intertwine this with uh, Spider Man. You know how how we how are we going to be introduced to him? Uh, is it is there going to be any crossover? You know, it was a little nod to venom in the trailer. Uh, you see Michael Keaton pop up in the trailer, uh, who plays, uh, Adrian tomb, AKA vulture and Spider-Man homecoming, which is a MCU property. But, um, he popped up in the trailer for Morbius. So you're like, okay, where are we going here? Then you see elements of the Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man movies in the trailer. And you're like, okay, is it part of that universe? Or 
Then you see a picture of Spider-Man in the background on a poster, and that's Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. So you're like, what is going on? Um, <laughs> what what type of you know what what what's where what universe is this set in? And then you hear him mention Venom, and so it's like ah. <laughs> but anywho, uh, yeah, I was gonna dive in deeper if that was going to be the movie we was going to talk about. But unfortunately we have a few months to soak this in because it moved from January the 28th to April Fool's day, April the 1st. So we have to wait three months to see that. Um, maybe they needed to improve some, cause I'm not buying the uh, COVID number thing. I, I, I'm not buying that. Not, not for this. <laughs> Not for this, because nothing else is moving majorly in these next few months. You know, none of these big, at least not yet. You know, there haven't been any big announcements. But Morbius, really? Y- y'all really think the, the COVID number is going to affect your box office for this movie? I don't think there's a lot of people excited for it. I'm going to see it out of loyalty to comic book movies. But other than that, there's nothing else to really draw me into that. But I will go see it April 1st. I guess I'll talk about it around that time but there are other films that moved this year that i wanted to talk in on touch in on rather and discuss so we can know offhand uh we probably have it marked on our calendars for the dates that they were set to come out and i want to let y'all know if you do have that you can grab your magic marker your sharpie your highlighter whatever it is scratch them out we're going to give you the new dates of these films that were scheduled to come out at some time, but move to another. In some cases, entire years, <laughs> which is like, man, y'all are serious. But um, our second film, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Very hyped up for this movie. One of my most anticipated of this year. Can't wait for this. Saw the trailer at the end of Spider-Man uh, uh, Far From Home. Or was it No Way Home? Um, <laughs> one of the homies. The homeboys. Uh, the last one. And the trailer looked mwah. I loved it. Looks like it is a dark horror movie feel to it. Very excited. We got Scarlet Witch popping up in here. Uh, look like... Uh, uh, America Sanchez is in here. It, it looks like they got a lot going on and there's a lot of uh, 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 rumors of other MCU characters popping up in it um, along with some characters that will be introduced. Maybe even some quote unquote mutants that might show up in here. So let's we'll see. We'll see. But we were going to see this. March the 25th, but unfortunately it was pushed back to May the 6th. So we're, we have to wait a few more months to check out Dr. Strange in the multiverse of madness, but it was a snowball effect because moving that one film mean you meant you had to move multiple others. And I mean, multiple here was the snowball effect of moving dr strange and the multiverse of madness two months moving it from march to may the 6th because may the 6th was originally the release date of thor love and thunder yes the fourth thor film in the franchise was originally set to come out may the 6th now it has been pushed back to July the 8th. So uh, our introduction to Lady Thor portrayed by uh, uh, Natalie Portman, AKA Jane Foster. We have to wait till July the 8th. (laughs) Uh, And that's a bummer, man, because that's another one on my highly anticipated list of this year. Um, We have to wait a few extra months for that. So with that happening, that date was originally set for the release 
of a sequel to one of the best comic book movies ever made. And that was Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Yes, the sequel to Black Panther was originally set to be released this year on July the 8th. Had to move due to the move of Thor. Now, Black Panther Wakanda Forever will be released November the 11th. Yes, we have to wait all the way to November to enter the world of Wakanda once again. And it's probably a good thing because I know that uh, production was delayed a few times. Uh, We know due to the death of Chadwick Boseman, they had to do some rewrites, of course. And they had a mishap with Letitia Wright uh, with the vaccinate hub vac- vaccination status that she was sent home. It was thoughts that she was going to be written out the movie, uh, but she has returned uh, from what I understand. Don't know. Still don't know of vaccination status really doesn't matter. Whatever her choice, uh, but she is back in the role of Sherry and they have resumed production. So they probably did need an extra time. So that probably helped out this film uh, to push it back a couple of more months. So uh, instead of July the 8th, we will be entering the world of Wakanda, Black Panther Wakanda forever on November the 11th. Now that date was originally set for the Marvels, the sequel to Captain Marvel, uh, the Marvels was set for release on November the 11th. Now we'll have to wait until 2023, February the 17th. Good date. That's my mother's birthday. Happy birthday to her on that date. And we'll have to wait till next year to see the Marvels, which will have the return of Carol Danvers. Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, along with uh, Miss Marvel, uh, also uh, Proton, who was introduced in WandaVision um, and many others. Uh, (laughs) uh, This film is directed by Nia Nakasa, who previously directed the uh, Candyman film that came out last year, which I wasn't the biggest fan of, but You know, uh, (laughs) I'm glad she's working. Good to see uh, African-American female directing a big budget Marvel film. So that's a plus. But um, we'll have to wait an entire year to see it (laughs) as it moves from November the 11th of this year to February 17th of 2023. Now, because of that. (laughs) <laughs> that date was originally set for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Yes, uh, the third installment in the Ant-Man series was slated for release February the 17th, 2023, where we would have saw not really the introduction because we saw his introduction in the Disney Plus series Loki, but we would have saw uh, Jonathan Majors play King the Conqueror and uh, Ant-Man and the Walls Quantumania. But now we'll have to wait till July the 28th, 2023 to go into the quantum realm with Ant-Man and the Walls. And that's a bummer too, because I'm excited to see Jonathan Majors as Kane Kong, Kong, however, whoever (laughs) I've heard it in so many different uh, 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 people. pronunciations but i'm gonna go with kane and i was excited to see him still am you know none of that takes away i just i just hate to have to wait so long (laughs) a year and a half to see this movie uh the ant-man films weren't you know they're not in my tops of marvel films but you know they're decent you know i like paul rudd but they haven't been my favorite favorites uh but i was real excited for this one uh just the announcement of uh king the conqueror because if you read the comics that is a very major character and if you've seen uh the loki series on disney plus you know what i'm talking about so 
once again, Ant-Man and the Walls Quantum Mania. Originally set for February 17th, 2023. Now, July 28th, 2023. So, uh, as in for the Marvel films, that was the snowball effect of all the Marvel films. And, you know, I know the pandemic really put a monkey wrench in Marvel's plans because they released, you know, some of their shows on Disney Plus out of order the way they wanted to release them. But they were released, you know, because I believe um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was supposed to come out first on Disney Plus. But because of the pandemic, they had to push that back. And then we got WandaVision first. And Doctor Strange was supposed to come out right after WandaVision. It was supposed to lead right into that. And if you watched the series and you watched how it ended, um, you understand why it led into Doctor Strange. But now with all this going on, <laughs> you see that uh, everything was out of order and, you know, it's going to be a whole year before, uh, you know, between WandaVision and Doctor Strange. Uh, a little better than a year actually so that's that's really that's really stinks but you can always go back and watch WandaVision before you go see Doctor Strange in April but uh, uh, I mean in May I'm sorry and you know it just would have been cool to have that go like that and then um, I know if I if I heard correctly uh, or read correctly in one of these uh, articles I believe Dr. Strange was supposed to come out before Spider-Man No Way Home, which kind of explains something. You know, if you've seen the movie, you know, uh, Spider-Man spoilers, if you haven't seen it, but which I'm not going to spoil the end or nothing, but how Dr. Strange comes into the movie and you go to the uh, uh, Sanctum and it's full of snow and say they open the door and you know, it wasn't really explained what happened. You know, he said what happened, but it wasn't really explained what happened. And I think it was uh, 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 explained in his movie, you know, Multiverse of Madness. So it kind of threw everything off, you know, the way the delays happened and the releases happened. It, it, it was just a mess. It was just a mess. So, um, I think they're trying to get it back on track now. Uh, it's just going to have to sacrifice some of our anticipation, <laughs> you know, but uh, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, it's only a few months in between, but it just seems like forever, especially when you start actually, you know, sounding out the dates. <laughs> it's, you know, when we get towards the end, like Marvel's, like the Marvel's was supposed to come out this year, but now it's going to come out next year. And uh, Ant-Man was going to come out the beginning of next year. Now it's going to come out in the middle of next year. And it just feels like forever. <laughs> but, you know, if anybody's been paying attention, the last couple of years has been flying by, you know, so it, it's not going to be that long. We just just got to just got to breathe. But I can't tell you something that does feel like it's going to be. I don't think in God, God, I'm praying to God that he grant me health and strength as long as possible. Cause I feel like I'm never going to see this movie here. And it's been pushed back, pushed back, pushed back forever, man. And that is mission impossible. Seven mission impossible. Seven was slated to come out May the 27th of this year. Finally, after being pushed back from land, you know, the pandemic, whatever, whatever. Once again, it's pushed back. And unlike the Marvel films where it's just, you know, two or three months in between time. <laughs> no, sir. No, ma'am. Mission Impossible 7 has moved from May the 27th of 2022 to July the 14th. No, not of 2022 of 2023 we have to wait an entire year and a half for this movie and if you think that's bad mission impossible 8 which they shot back to back which was supposed to be released you know within a months or year of each other 
Mission Impossible 8 is now scheduled for release June the 28th, 2024. My goodness, I'm going to be a grandfather by the end. Well, I hope not. Let me take that back. <laughs> Let me take, I better not be. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take that back. Um, but man, that is, oh my gosh, man. 2024? I can't even I can't even picture the middle of this year yet. And then we talk about 2024 before we see part eight of Mission Impossible. Man, this is this is bummer city. <laughs> this is bummer city. I was looking forward to these films uh, uh, at the dates or times that they were scheduled to be released. But we have to wait. But it's all good. It's all gravy. Um, look. It is what it is. So if those are the dates, if those were the dates, you know, the previous dates that you thought these films were coming out, if you cared, these were, they were changed. And here we go again. I'm going to go through the list again so we can all be on the same page. Um, Morbius, which was supposed to come out this Friday, this Friday, January the 28th, will now come out April the 1st. Uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness changed from March the 20, 25th to May the 6th now. Uh, I'm just going to say when they come out because I'm confusing myself. Uh, <laughs> Thor, Love and Thunder now will be released on July the 8th. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever will now be released on November the 11th. The Marvels will now be released on February 17th. 2023 ant-man and the waltz will now be released on july the 28th 2023 mission impossible 7 will now be released july the 14th 2023 and mission impossible 8 june the 28th 2024 so those are your new dates for those upcoming films i'm pretty sure more is to come unfortunately um, uh, <laughs> so just prepare for it. Uh, we know in the next couple of months, we have a film that quite frankly, that's all I care about this year. Um, on March the 4th, we have the release of the Batman. And if that is moved, I am it's going scorch earth out here, man. I'm, I'm going, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm breaking. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. Cause I can't take it no more because you realize they moved it already. We, this movie was supposed to have been out in October of last year. That was the original date. They moved it to March. Now I'm not, I'm not waiting no more. I'm not waiting. I'm going to Warner Brothers studios and demand my copy of the Batman <laughs> on March the 5th. If it's not out, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting past March the 5th, 12 midnight before I see that movie. I'm not waiting another, another minute. It's not happening. So they can move all these other films. I don't care. March the 4th. If, well, if they want to move the Batman, they can move it up some. They, they can do that. <laughs> they can move it up into February. Hey, Marvel has moved this Friday. Put it at this Friday. I don't care. Move it up. Don't move it back. So that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, yeah, uh, if, if it is truly because of the numbers going up with these uh, uh, infections, this this disease that has been plaguing us for the past two, two or three years, I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. It seems like forever. But, uh, man, we need to get our acts together, man. We need to really get our acts together. I went in and I was in a meeting the other day on my job and had to go in his office. I put on my mask, you know, I go sit in the little corner, you know, they put baby in the corner. I went and sat in the corner while we having this meeting. Everybody else in this meeting, when we in this locked up auditorium, um, we're well, not really an auditorium. It's just a little office. And I'm the only one with a mask on. And I'm like, well, nobody else wearing a mask. And the reason the office was cleared because nobody was working in the office, you know, 
nobody was working there because <laughs> they sent everybody home to work from home, at least the office staff. And so we had this office to have our meeting. Now, obviously, that it's a problem. <laughs> so why nobody else are heeding to these rules with the map? Plus, there's a sign on the door that said, please wear your mask. Once again, I'm the only one wearing a mask. And I'm sitting in the corner and like, oh, oh, Kevin, why are you way back there? I'm, like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Y'all, y'all, I can hear y'all just fine. You know, but I mean, we got to We got to do better, people do better anyways. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have any new releases. I'm pretty sure they got something probably coming out on Netflix or Amazon Prime or uh, any other streaming uh, platform that we probably can check out. But as far as the theater is concerned, nothing, nothing, nothing. So uh, it's all good. But next month. Next month is going to be fire. I hope. <laughs> I hope as it stands, they have a few films coming out next month, starting next week. So we will have a actual can't wait Wednesday next week. I hope because <laughs> that could change any day now. But any who's that's the show for today. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you're new to the show, I hope something I said today will help you. Can, uh, 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 help you realize that man i'm gonna continue to check this fella out if you're a continued listener thank you thank you thank you for continuing to support it uh show love to this show don't forget to check us out on itunes and apple Podcasts by giving us those five star reviews and ratings helps the show out tremendously check us out on all our other listening platforms whether it's apple i uh apple i <laughs> Apple Podcasts <laughs> or iTunes. I guess that's where the I got mixed up in. Um Spotify, uh iHeartRadio, Pandora, um, uh 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 Amazon Music. Yeah, we're everywhere now. We're everywhere now. You can check us out on social media as well. K uh just look us up. KB Radio Network. Everybody has been a joy, honor, and privilege. Won't you all to know that I love you, continue to love one another, and until we speak again, everybody, you all be blessed. <laughs>